Hi everybody, it's Joni Young here. Welcome back to my channel for another fun tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas tree by imprinting a real life fern. I just picked this from outside my studio. I've got a bunch of beautiful ferns growing out there and I thought I would take one because look at the shape of it. It looks like a tree, right? So when you pick one, you can actually pick any leaf that you want for imprinting and I'll show you how to do it. The same technique and steps apply for all of them. Um, what you want to do is make sure that it's uh, clean and then it's dry and I want to have a little um, part of the stem here that I can hold on to so I just picked off a few of the little leaves so that I could do that and that gives us a little bit of a tree trunk as well and what we want to do is paint the underneath of the fern but I'll show you that when we get closer to that step let's go over the supplies I've got a 12 by 16 gray primed canvas I just pre-painted it gray I'm going to go over most of that with uh, phthalo cyan blue regular phthalo blue is fine and I've got some turquoise a bright aqua green both of these are, are by Liquitex basics acrylics I'm going to be using some white for my tree for the fern. I'm also going to be using some white for some little highlights and maybe some snowflakes and a star glowing on top of the tree. Let's go over to our brushes now. I've got a number 20 flat that I'll be using for uh, the snow down in the foreground at the base of the tree as well as to load the fern with. I've got a number 50 filbert brush that I'm going to be using to apply the background colors with. I will then go down to a one inch dry soft synthetic mop brush to just blend out and make it look airbrushed and get rid of any harsh streaks. So if you guys are ready, I'm super excited to show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is take my phthalo blue and my turquoise and I'm going to apply it to the canvas. No rhyme or reason to how I'm adding it. Just a little bit of each. I'm going to take my big filbert brush here and just sweep that around. Look at how gorgeous those colors blend together. just a tiny bit of white and just a little hint of that now before this all dries I'm gonna go to my mop brush and just soften any really harsh brush strokes just by going around in little circles I'm going to take a little bit of tiny bit of water on my mop brush here and then switch over to a clean one just to get the rest of them the rest of those little spots blended out because it was a bit too dry there now depending on the temperature in your room you're painting that will determine how quickly or slowly your acrylic paint dries. So it's pretty warm in here. I had my fireplace going last night and this morning, so it's nice and warm and toasty in here, but it's making my acrylics dry a lot quicker. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more white now because I wanna make sure that I've got really kind of pretty sort of glow around the tree. And I like creating these little swirls because it helps to make it look a little bit more magical. The next thing I'm going to do is take my flat brush here. I'm going to pick up some titanium white just with my palette knife. And I'm going to just dampen my brush with a little bit of water. 
Now remember the side that you want to add the paint to, the underneath part of the fern. You want to get a nice amount on there. The reason why it works best to add it on the bottom is because the bottom part, if you look really closely, it's the bottom of the fern, the underside that has all the lines that stick out. So that's what's going to leave the imprint. Okay, and then I can push this up. Now you'll want to make sure once you get this all coated, you want to make sure that you have something dry and flat to place over it, like a paper towel or um, wax paper, something that you can use to, it's called burnishing. So you hold it over and you gently kind of just flatten it and rub it over carefully with your fingers to press it gently onto the canvas to ensure a nice imprint. I want to make sure that I get it on the stem. Okay. Make sure I've got enough on here. You can always apply it again if it doesn't work the first time. So I just got some paper towel here, but I'm going to line it up. I'll place it right there. Okay. Once you get it on there, gently rub your fingers around it. work those little leaves okay let's see what we're left with I'm gonna pull this off and we get quite a pretty imprint So natural looking it's really really fun to do this and it's fun for all ages so I'm just gonna put that to the side and now I'm gonna take my flat brush take a little bit of the white and I'm gonna come around the base of the tree and my blue background my blue turquoisey background is still a little bit wet which is nice because I'm getting this softer tone I'm going to add a little bit sort of around the tree here so that we have a nice glow pick up a little bit more white make it a bit brighter right here We're picturing some lights on this tree or even just the star on the top. Maybe there's some moonlight and it's just reflecting down here. I'm going to take a little bit more of the white and just a little circles like this, getting really close to the tree.
can make it look like there's a little bit of mist or fog down here. Take extra white and just come right down here. The next brush I'm going to be using is one of my mini liner brushes. So just a short liner brush, a little bit of white, and I'm going to add it right here to the top of the tree. I'm gonna add just a little dab right there. And then I'll add a few little dabs around the tree as well. For little twinkling lights. And then you can go around in little circles around the outside of them. And if you happen to lose that bright white inside, just go back after you're all done and re-dab. But you're left with that nice, soft, really pretty glow. So I'm just going to keep going around here, adding little glowing lights. If they're just pure white, soft shades of white, that's fine too. Or if you happen to be picking up a little bit of the blue turquoise base color underneath, that's pretty too, see? And you can always go back and add some more of the blue and turquoise to your palette, making different shades. This will be my last tutorial of 2023. And I wanted to just thank you guys all so much for all of your support this year on my channel and all of the years that you've been following me if you've been uh, with me from the beginning. Okay, so with a little bit of white on my brush, I'm just gonna pull, whoops, <laughs> we'll go with that happy little accident. We're just gonna pull and flick little lines for our glowing star on the top. Now it helps to steady your hand by just placing your pinky and I'm gonna just soften that with a little filbert brush you can use whatever brush whatever small brush that you want I just happen to pick this one up first I'm just gonna kind of go around soften those edges and then back over again to My little liner. Now you might feel more comfortable using a small round. Teeny tiny brushes can be a little bit tricky to control sometimes. So I always recommend a few different brushes. So yeah, for this, you might want to use a little round brush but you know just experiment with brushes and you never know until you experiment and you try what works best for you and what you like okay 
Okay, I just got a little bit extra weight there, so I'm gonna sort of spread that around. You can also gently pull and flick off for some little icicles. Add a little bit more to the base of the tree. And then I always go and redab the center of either my sun, my moon, or my stars. Just to make it really sparkly. With a filbert brush, I'm going to take a little bit more white. Now I'm just loading the tip of the brush with a bit of white like that. And just going over in gentle little slopes like this. And I'm going to take a toothbrush now. A little toothbrush I use for crafting and spraying on little stars and fine snowflakes. You just want to get a little bit of water on it and then gently, gently go around in circles to just load it, turn it over, and then aim and spray. You can make your star look even glowier by doing this. It's almost like using an airbrush. You go over it multiple times like that and you have the right amount of water and paint in your brush. You can achieve that look. So see how I'm kind of going around about an inch away from the tree and I'm kind of creating this little glowing aura. One last highlight on the snow down here. I just think this is one of those really fun ways to incorporate leaves from outside and make something beautiful out of something that's already beautiful and natural and organic. And you can make an instant tree like this. And I, there's so many more things that I can't wait to show you guys in the new year. So be sure that you're subscribed to my channel. All the best to you guys. Much love. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.